Yes, that's me, Morgs. From sitting in slime baths and pranking my mum to playing in a real life football match in front of thousands of fans. I bet you guys didn't see this coming. Yo guys, it's Morgs and let me tell you about last Sunday. Clash of Creators. Set at Averley Stadium in London, four teams of YouTubers were put together. Some of the biggest football YouTubers like Rotashaw, ChrisMD, Spencer FC, and of course, Morgs. Now you guys know that I love watching football. However, when it comes to playing football, let's just put it this way. I'm a little bit like Ronaldo. If he had one leg, was blind, and was about 90 years old. So if you can't tell by that, I am not exactly the best player in the world. I'm pretty terrible. Now last year on Twitter, I saw that this event was being announced. And even though I have the footballing ability of a one-legged giraffe, I decided how bad can it be? And I signed up. And just like that, Morgs was playing in Clash of Creators. And the response was a little bit mixed. The event had to be pushed back multiple times, but finally, after a year, July 25th rolled round, and it was time for Clash of creators. So guys, as soon as I arrived in the stadium, pretty much the first thing I did was go to the changing room and check out the kits. And it was literally a bit of a surreal feeling seeing my name on the back of an actual football shirt. I mean, I couldn't be further from professional football level. So I think that's the only way I'm gonna get my name on the back of a shirt. Once I met my teammates and got changed, it was time to warm up for the first game because we were playing first. After a few warm ups, it was time to to go and I was starting up front for my team. I was kind of bricking it, not gonna lie. In goal for us was Nash, left back Nightscape, the captain Spencer FC and Casey Barker at centre back with George Mason at right back. Marky and Sharky in midfield, London movements on the left, Jamie Campbell in the middle, Exitinio on the right and me up front by myself. We were playing the light blue team who were the favourites to win the whole thing. Carlin in net, Jamie left back, Josh Peters and Ollie Ball at centre back with Rota Shaw at right back. JMX and SDPZ in the middle. Hackney, Theo Baker, Arthur TV, and then Josh Manifold up front. With the team sheets out of the way, it's time for the match. And here we go. We were underway. The outsiders, the red team against the favorites, the light blue. 15 seconds on the clock, we're in their half. London movements on the ball, cutting inside. You can see me there asking for the ball, but he plays it inside to Tatinio. Cuts on his right. Oh! 30 seconds on the clock and we went 1 0 up. Would you believe it? Honestly, I didn't know what to do at this point. I could not believe it. We were literally 30 seconds into the game and we were already 1 0 up. And I hadn't even touched the ball yet. What made it even better was I've been friends with the guy who scored for literally about four years. We made a FIFA collab together ages ago. So as you can tell, I was absolutely buzzing for him. So 30 seconds in, we're 1 0 up. I've not done a thing yet. But now, let's see what happens when I actually, you know, touch the ball. So the ball's out wide here. Get Let's play it into Sharky, who picks me out, and there I am. My first touch on the ball. Ollie Ball's right next to me, and oh! Within two seconds of me getting the ball, I've already been wiped out by Ollie Ball. Look at this. He absolutely pile drive me. That's something you'd see in WWE. Forget football, he bloody speared me. Now from there, the game started to change a little bit, and let's just say they started to really attack. Come on then, he's past him, cut across. Oh, this is a dangerous attack oh, it's from Hackney into the box. And that's oh, oh, you've got to put... Yeah, not gonna lie guys, at this point I was kind of bricking it. It did not look like we was gonna hold on. Now we had a bit of a counter attack, and I had a chance at the other end. The ball gets played to Alfie here. I tried to stay on side, but... Oh, the ref blows. I was offside, apparently. I say on replay, VAR should have been used. Look at that. I swear I'm onside. Ollie Ball's playing me on. That's a bloody disgrace. He's off. Some would say his content's off, but he's actually very popular. <sighs> what can I say to that? I like this lad, the number 11 for the Reds. It's Morgs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I definitely watch him, as people probably guessed. See? I knew he liked me deep down. Now, 10 minutes into the game, there was a big chance. As you can see, the light blue player is clean through. Corner. And somehow oh, they miss. I do not know how we managed to not concede there. 
but it was still 1-0, 11 minutes in. Now, just like that, the halftime whistle blew. We managed to hold on till halftime, 1-0. It was a decent half, however, light blues were really starting to pile the pressure on. We needed that second goal. Now, our manager was David James, an England legend. This guy has literally played for England, and he was managing me. You gotta feel sorry for the guy. He was barking orders at us though. He was spurring us on for the second half, and we were ready to come out with a bang. Straight away here, Campbell with the ball, plays it into me. Oh, a beautiful turn. Go on, Morgs, lad. Oh, foul. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what happened to me there. I turned into Ronaldo for a second. A beautiful turn, and I won the free kick on the edge of the box. If we could score this free kick, it would put us two in the lead. But the question is, where are we gonna score it? Sharky with the free kick. Scooped it. Oh, a beautiful free kick. And it's 2-0 to the red team. Unbelievable scenes. Now, seeing as I won the free kick, which we scored from, does that go down as an assist for me? I think I may be reaching a little bit. But you know what, hey, 2-0 up, let's go. I'll take it. Now, guys, the job wasn't done. There was still 15 minutes left. They whipped in a dangerous ball. It falls here on the edge of the box. They keep going. We can't get it cleared. Ball comes across. Look at this. Saved. And off of the line. Off of the line from Spencer. They were not giving up. It was not done, ladies and gentlemen. We still had to see this game out. Sharky picks up the ball. Plays it out to London Movements. Plays a nice ball to me. Control it. And when there's a corner, 10 minutes left, won a corner. You can't complain with that. However, maybe I should have just shot. We kept defending, 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 holding on without conceding. It got to the 30th minute. I decided to come off as a substitute. I was already getting a little bit tired and I wanted to stay fresh for the final, hoping that we got there, of course. 10 minutes left, could the boys hold on? Let's find out. They had a big chance here. Indirect free kick on the edge of the box. Theo Baker steps up. Could we keep this out? Oh! And again! Oh! I was on the sideline jumping around like some sort of bloody giraffe. Wait, giraffes don't even jump around. What am I on about? I was jumping around like a bloody kangaroo when we kept that out, is what I was trying to say. And just like that, the full time whistle blew. The red team, the underdogs, we done it. We got to the final. Full time, red team two, live blue team nil. Big dub for my boys. I was going around high-fiving everybody after the game. I was so happy, man. I couldn't believe we'd actually got to the final. And now it was time for us to sit back and watch the other two teams play to find out who we were going to be facing in the final. And it was also time for me to go and get a hot dog because I was uh, a little bit hungry. <laughs> Just like that, it was decided. Dark blue versus red in the final. We tried our best, man, and listen, everyone out there, we're winning this. We're winning this for you. Yes, yes. the final. Yeah, let's absolutely. do it. Up the Navy. Let's, Up go. The Navy. let's go. Let's go. Let's <laughs> go. Yeah, honestly, I think that's going to be a really good game. So, 1 0 prediction, yeah? 1 0 prediction to the red team. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. On. Let's go. Good, luck. good luck. So, as you can see, guys, from my interview, I was confident. I was backing the boys with a 1 0 win. Now that all the interviews and everything was out the way, it was time to get back in the changing room, get the final few instructions from the manager, David James, and then get back out there and win the whole flipping thing. Starting in goal for the dark blue team, we had Pie Face, Tom GW Swabs, Buchan and Roxburgh in the back four, Kirkham and Fogden, Glanville, I'm Alex, and Chris MD in the middle with Charlie Morley up front, a dangerous attack for sure. We of course played the same team, I was still starting up front, hoping to get a goal this time, and 
time to go. Guys, just before the final starts, if you want me to give away my match worn boots from the final, then make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe and comment that you want the boots. I feel like I'm an actual football player giving away my boots. Maybe I should just give away 1,000 pounds instead. And here we go, kick off. The Reds, we've made it to the final, but we didn't just want to make it to the final. We wanted the gold medals. Could we do it? Here we go. My first contribution came here. Sharky on the ball, played it into me, played a nice little layoff, and then got the ball back here. Didn't quite manage to take the touch forward, but I was feeling lively. I was up for it, boys. The Dark Blues had a chance to make it 1-0 with a free kick in a dangerous area. Struck over the bar. That was a big chance for the Dark Blues to go 1-0 up there. We managed to survive. London movements on the ball, taking players on left, right and center, cutting inside, plays the pass, which doesn't quite get to the man. However, they hoof it straight back to our goalkeeper. We were building momentum here. In reality, couldn't be further from the truth. Spencer there though, doing it for the old lads. Lovely little ball as well. You're well, in, you're in. Pie face. Oh, oh no! It's a disaster moment for Pie and there it is, boys and girls. I actually scored a goal. Look at that celebration. Ronaldo S. Ball over the top. I'm running like a giraffe on ice. Pie face doesn't quite get there. And then it's a tap in for me. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would love to sit here and say that I scored a 30 yard screamer from outside the box. However, that just wasn't the case. It was probably the worst goal scored at the entire event. In fact, it was probably the worst goal that that stadium has ever seen. Two yards from the goal, it would have been harder to miss than score. However, you know what they say, a goal's a goal, and in the final, who cares? It did also add to my collection of tapping goals from two yards. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much straight after I scored here, the Dark Blues went on a dangerous counter-attack. I'm Alex with the ball, cutting in. Oh, not today. Casey Barker with an absolute crunching tackle. Alex, that's what you get for making them bloody commentary videos on me. Now the ball gets played forward and I'm, I'm chasing down here with everything I've got left in the tank. The ball gets pressed. The ball gets played back to pie face and there, I was so close. I swear I was about that close to intercepting that pass. And that would have just been the icing on top. But he just managed to get it past me. London movements here was just absolutely taking the mick. It was just skilling nine defenders at a time. I was on a nice little run here. He managed to find me. I beat my man. Could I score? No, he made a great recovery tackle there. I managed to win the corner, but London movements was just absolutely tearing everyone apart at this point. Again, I probably should have just shot here, but unfortunately, I don't have a left foot. Now, I managed to win the ball here, and for some reason, I thought I was Ronaldo. I, I think the goal got to my head because I tried to do a bloody skill move on Fogden, and yeah, he tackled me straight away. That was not a good idea. The ball was looping here, headed away. Charlie Morley with the strike, and oh my goodness, what a save that was by our goalkeeper. Look at this once again for a save. He strikes on the half volley, tipped onto the post. I'll tell you what, I think you've just seen the save of the tournament from Nash. That kept us in the game. A lot of fouls. Oh, Morgs. He's a bit unlucky there. Surely going to go back for the foul on the Reds, yeah. Got that one right, ref. You know what, guys? I'm not sure I was going to get to the ball, so I was pretty happy to win the foul there. We only had four more minutes until half time. Could we hold on? Let's see. Here we are, bursting forward with an incredible counter attack here. Oh, I pick up the ball. A bit of a dodgy touch. Played into Sharky. Should have passed to Morgs. And he has a oh. shot. Oh, you know what? If that had gone in, that would have been an assist for me. So I wasn't too mad that he shot that. Final chance of the half here. A beautiful ball gets played across to our winger. Here he is. He's got two men on him. What's he going to do? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, we nearly witnessed goal of the tournament there. That would have been unbelievable. And there it is, guys. The halftime whistle. Once again, going into halftime, 1-0 up. But this time, it was from my goal, which I still couldn't believe at this point. Now, halftime was actually where a little bit of controversy happened. Spencer FC, our captain, actually got sent off. He got a red card, that's right, for 
talking to the ref. Exactly. We didn't know what happened either. Apparently, he was complaining about something to the ref. The ref wasn't having any of it. He gave him a yellow card and then gave him another yellow. Two yellows, red card. That meant that we were going to have to play the second half with 10 men and only 1-0 up. We may have lost Spencer, but out of nowhere, Nico Omolana, leader of the NDL, came across to support the red team. We had him in our corner. Surely we couldn't lose. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The whistle blew. It was time for the second half to begin. Could we hold on? We were very nervous, not gonna lie. Now, pretty much straight away at the start of the second half, I had a chance to score. Jamie London movements was causing mayhem on the left. He slots me through here with a beautiful back heel pass. I get a bit of luck here. Hit the ball and oh my gosh, what a save from Pyface. You know what lads, I am certain that that shot was going in top left corner. It was genuinely an amazing save from Pyface. I don't know how he saved it. That save right there made up for his mistake in the first half because I really should have scored that chance and I'm confident that it was going in. Now we have a chance here on the counter. The ball's with London movements. Plays a beautiful ball to me. I'm on side and oh no. No! Please turn it off the screen. Please don't make me watch that again. Bogdan played a beautiful through ball here and I thought they were in, but our keeper came out and dealt with it. He dealt with everything. We had prime Manuel Neuer in net. Sweeper keeper. He was unbelievable. The Navy team had another chance here with Charlie Morley who shot. But again, our prime Manuel Neuer saved it. What a guy. They were not going to be able to get through this man. It got to the 36th minute and I was absolutely knackered, guys. I was feeling my hamstring going. I decided, let me come off and pray from the bench that we can hold on. I was confident, though, because the player coming on in my place was none other than Anison Gibb, YouTube boxer himself. There we go. Maybe London movements. <laughs> London movements from under the match. I think he might have just stolen it. He certainly just stolen the cup there, That's London movements. And there it was, ladies and gentlemen. The scenes on the bench as that second went in. I was so relieved. I was thinking, imagine if they scored after I've gone off the pitch. I would have been gutted. But London movements managed to get the second goal. And that was it. The red team had done it lads we did it we got the win the full-time whistle blew and there we go look at the scenes as we charge the pitch we've got backflips we've got hugs celebrations all over the place there was a massive huddle there we had done it the underdogs the red team got the win and i managed to actually score in the final unbelievable scenes we all got our medals we got a group photo and look at the scenes the red ball was in the air unbelievable and now there was just one thing left to do the trophy lift here we go here we go here it goes it's the trophy here we go this was honestly one of the best days of my life and the best part of it was it was all for Mind Mental Health Charity. We raised so much money and I just want to say a massive congratulations to everybody involved in the event and there's still time to donate guys. Make sure you go to the link in the description to donate. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. This is completely different to anything I've done before but you guys say you want more personal content, stuff that I actually am passionate about and hey, this event was amazing. I really enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Drop a like if you want more football videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.